how to find high CPC keywords for your blog. So basically when you are working on any website and you start writing blog posts on that website so that website can actually rank on Google and you can get traffic and get paid. So basically the main motive of every person running a website is to earn money. And that is why every person is putting effort in ranking their website on Google, finding good topics, writing articles on those topics and ranking those articles on Google so they can actually get traffic and get paid. Right? So when it comes to writing an article or blog post on your website, people used to find some keywords so they can actually target those keywords in writing their article and there are mainly two conditions. Like those keywords must be low competitive so their article can actually get ranked easily on first page so they can get easy traffic. And number two, that is the keyword must be having high CPC. So basically what CPC is, CPC means cost per click. Like this is the money which advertiser is going to pay to Google when someone basically click on their ads on any website or from YouTube, right? So basically there are many keywords around the world. Some are having high CPC and some are having low CPC depending on the product they are targeting in their ads, right? So in short, if you are writing 10 articles on low CPC keyword and one article on high CPC keyword, so after ranking those articles, after working a lot on those articles for one month, if you compare the earning of those 10 articles with that one article, so there are high chances that the earning of that one article will be more as compared to those 10 articles. So that's why most of the people actually look for those keywords who are having high CPC, so they have to work less they have to put less effort and they can actually get good amount of money so in this video i'm going to show you step by step how you can actually find multiple keywords which is having high cpc and low competition so you can actually target those keywords into your blog post into your article or into your shopify store if you're selling your products on shopify store and if you want to rank your store on first page of google so you can get free traffic from google so basically this video is short but it is very very important for you to learn if you are working on your website and you want to get free traffic from Google and you want to get paid higher than your competitor. But before getting started, I'm Uzair and I run multiple online businesses like Amazon, eBay, Shopify, affiliate marketing and YouTube that gives me financial freedom and allow me to travel the world without having any worry of 9 to 5 job. So if you also want this freedom to working remotely from anywhere in the world, then make sure to subscribe to the channel to learn more about online earning for free. And if you're confused at where to start, then you can just simply visit the link ways to sell onlinecom slash start. So you can just find some useful material from there and get a complete roadmap from where to start. All right, guys, so as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now. And from my laptop, I've opened this tool, SEMrush, and some people call it SEMrush. So basically, this is the tool which is very, very important for you if you're working on your personal website or blog or Shopify store. So you can actually find what your competitor are doing, what keywords they are targeting, and what keywords are good for you and what keywords are bad for you. Because if you initially find out the way, if you initially find out the keyword, like which are good, which are bad, so it can actually help you a lot in putting effort on all of those keywords. Because if you find out some keywords which are bad for you, which are having high competition and low CPC, and if you keep working on all of those keywords and waste your two or three months, then you will realize that you are working on wrong keywords, which are not worth spending your time and effort, and you end up earning very less money. But on the other hand, if you take the help of these kind of tool, which can actually tell you the difficulty of any keyword or the CPC of any keyword, so at least you can actually know like in which direction you are going and if that direction is correct or not. And then from the competitiveness of that keyword, you can actually idealize or you can actually calculate like how fast you can rank your article on Google and how much money you can expect to earn from that article, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you all the values, all the calculation so you can find the right path for you. So after logging into that tool, SEMrush, you can actually find the link of that tool from the description of this video and from there you can sign up for a free trial. So after logging into that tool, you need to go on this left chart and there you will be able to see multiple options like domain overview, organic search, keyword overview and keyword magic tool. So for this specific video, we are going to cover this keyword magic tool and we are going to find some keyword who are having high CPC with the help of this tool. But if you want to learn about everything about keyword research and how to use these tools to make your research properly, so you can watch my other videos in this playlist as well in which I have explained each and every tool in detail. So you can also learn how to use them and how to implement them to make your website successful. So now let's just click on this tool keyword magic tool and after clicking on that tool, you will be able to see this tab where it says that find millions of keywords suggestion for your SEO. So basically in this tab enter keyword you need to put any main word from your keyword. So just for this video let's say the example of my site which is ways to sell online.com and as you guys already know that my main content focus on e-commerce and online selling. So basically if I write here e-commerce 
and select the market US and then click on search. So from this tool keyword magic, I will be able to see all of those keywords which include e-commerce and people are searching those keywords into USA. So right now at this point, you need to give a focus for at least two or three minutes. Like I have only searched for the keyword e-commerce and click search. And then after I can see many of the keywords here and they are endless keyword, like not endless if I check the number here. So you can see that this is the number of keyword I can see on this page after searching e-commerce. So these keywords are a lot and we don't want a lot of keyword. So here now at this point, we need to remove the clutter from this list and make this number lower as possible and find out the golden keywords. So now the question is how we can do this. And the answer is we can do this by putting values in these filters. So here you can see that there are two filters selected like all keyword and broad match. And if we check out the second row, we can find multiple other filters here like volume, KD, intent and CPC. So basically what KD means, KD means keyword difficulty, like how competitive the keyword is. So for example, if I check out this first keyword, which is e-commerce. So here you can see that 74,000 is a search volume. Like the search volume is high, that means many people are searching this keyword. But on the other hand, if we check out the KD, which is keyword difficulty, so that is 100% and the color is red. So basically, if the difficulty of any keyword is 100% or red or orange, that means that keyword is high competitive. And no matter how much effort we can put in that keyword, it will be very difficult for us to rank on this keyword if we write an article on that keyword. So now for this video, we need to focus on two things. Number one is KD, which is keyword difficulty. And number two is CPC, because we want high CPC keyword, right? So first of all, we need to put the filter for keyword difficulty from here. So here you can see that when I click on drop down, so I can see multiple options here, like very easy, easy, possible, difficult and hard. So if I select easy, so that means the keyword difficulty will be 15 to 29%. And the chances for my article or my blog to rank on first page of Google will be easy. But if I select the heart, so that will be hard and nearly impossible. So let's select easy and click on apply. So you can see that after I select the easy, so this tool has filtered out all of those keywords for me. And you can see that the number has reduced suddenly from around 170k to 1800. So right now, after putting that one filter, I am left with around 1800 keywords, which are basically from my niche and I can actually use them in my article. And if I target those keywords and write article on those topics, so it will be very easy for me to rank on first page of Google because this tool is showing me that there are not many articles for this topic on Google to rank on first page. So when Google find my article, find my data, so there are too many high chances for my article to rank on first page of Google so I can get free traffic from Google, right? So after putting that filter, you can see here the keyword difficulty for all of those keywords is very less and all are in green. So that means I can target. So that was the filter number one. So now the filter number two will be volume and filter number three will be CPC. So here you can see that the CPC for this keyword is zero. So that means if I target that keyword, I will be able to rank on first page, but I will not be able to earn a lot of money because CPC is showing here, which is zero, right? But if I scroll down, so I can see the CPC for this keyword is $9.28, which is very good and very high. So if I target this keyword and if I write an article on a topic, including this keyword, so the chances for my article to rank on first page of Google will be super high because the KD is 29% and the CPC is 9.2%. That means I will actually earn a good amount of money and the search volume is 880 which means under 1000 so that means a decent amount of people is searching that keyword on google so in that way you can actually find some good keyword having low keyword difficulty having good cpc and having good search volume and if you want to sort this list further as per cpc so you can actually get all of those keywords from this list of 1800 which are having high cpc so for that purpose i can just go on that cpc and click here so what that will do is it will sort my list of the keyword as per the CPC. So I can see all of those keywords which are having high CPC on the top and low CPC on the bottom. So here in this case, 78 CPC is super high. And you can see that the keyword is e-commerce 3PL USA. So basically 3PL are third party logistic warehouse and all of the online sellers who are selling their products on Amazon, eBay or Shopify basically use these kind of third party logistic warehouse to store their product and to ship their product. So right now I can see that if I target this keyword like warehouse in USA for e-commerce and if I write an article on that keyword and basically in that article, if I find five or 10 3 pair warehouse in USA in different states like Florida, Texas, Dallas, and I write an article on that and I list down all of those 3 pair in detail, mentioning their address, phone number and so on. So there are high chances for my article to rank on first page of Google and I can actually earn a good amount of money with very less click. But here you can see that the KD is good, the CPC is good, but the the search volume is not that much high. So in that case, I will advise you to go for a keyword having good search volume, good CPC and low keyword difficulty, right? So if I scroll further down and if I just find any other keyword just like that, so you can see that 
The CPC for this keyword is 31, the keyword difficulty is 28, and the search volume is decent, which is 720. And the keyword is Magento e-commerce development services. So if I target that keyword, so I can just beat the competition and I can just make a lot of money and rank my article on first page of Google. So just by using the same technique, you can just use this magical tool SEMrush to save a lot of your time and to find out all of those keywords which are actually beneficial for you. So you can at least know that in which direction you are going is the right direction and there are high chances for you to actually make money from this direction if you work on this consistently for two or three months. So right after watching this video, if you're doing this thing wrong, so by using this tool, implement this method and try to find out low competitive keyword with high CPC and try to work on all of those keywords to make a good amount of money from your blog. So that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.